แบEverything looks to be in fairly good condition. Nice and large bed with Rhino liner in it rather than an actual bed liner. the truck all right so the interior is looking great so far uh, I just turned the ignition and I have 142,861 miles which is 20,000 miles less than my truck starts up very very easily all right, so all in all, I'm pretty stoked with this truck. I think this is gonna work out for us. Now, there's still another $1,000 I'm gonna have to put in here just to get the fifth wheel hitch in this bed. So, uh, 18K, 4,000 down, plus another 1,000 I'm gonna come up with in the next like couple of days. So, I think we can do it. I think I can swing it. I think I like this truck. It's uh, exactly like my old truck, just with a little upgrade. Bigger edge. Okay, so here's what's happening. I uh, just got the uh, loan information back and it's, uh, they want a little bit more of a down payment than I initially wanted uh, to do. Um, but it turns out that my old, old car, as in the car that I had before this truck, um, even though it was totaled by insurance, the insurance didn't pay it off for seven months and that showed up on my credit report as I didn't pay for seven months. So of course I just went through the process of uh, disputing it online while I was at lunch, but that doesn't help me now. So here's a pro tip. If you are going to go buy anything with your credit or if you ever have a car that's totaled out by insurance, make sure that the insurance payment had went through immediately. Make sure that you guys check that out before you go buy your new truck. All right, so here we are. We're gonna take our first test drive in the new truck. Uh, I'm not gonna record too much of this because I gotta really actually pay attention to what I'm doing here, but uh, let's uh, hope everything is great on this thing. So, damn no. So the test drive went great. Uh, I liked it a lot. It didn't seem to have as much uh, get up and go as my current truck, but that can be expected when you're dealing with a diesel that has a 350 engine and it's all focused on torque. Um, overall, I would say that, you know, it performs really well. Someone took good care of this. It looks like according to the Carfax reports, it only had one owner and to that one owner, thank you. Thank you very much from me to you for taking care of the truck. So at this point, we can consider the trigger pulled. This uh, idling diesel behind me belongs to our new truck. So leave today, just got a vehicle that will help us leave today. Sanity. Sanity. All right. So lesson number dog is that, um, oh my God, do not try to do this alone. 
I had this great idea that I was going to run the yard sale on Friday all by myself. Uh, and that they were going to help me in the morning by putting things up. Then Chris would have to go to work. Luna would have to go to school. Me would have to go to work. Luckily, I saw what crazy chaos it was. And we figured out a way for everyone to stay and help. But I think I may have died. I mean, I think I may have been murdered by the crazy jewelry people. However, I have to say that it's a little more difficult when I have to get rid of everything that I own that is fancy. Everything sparkly in my life has to go. Must it though? Yes. Yes, it must. And so, I continue. What's going on, Lumpies? Lumpies. We want them to take our stuff. Uh, look, look, look. They're taking the cool underneath started spewing radiator fluid into, well, onto the car. 